Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we shall be discussing Deshaun Watson, the new quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Yes, when this news broke yesterday, I was absolutely shocked. The one reason why I was shocked is due to the fact that I saw the headline, I saw the tweet from Ian Rappaport that the Browns were out of competition and it was only left down to two teams. My team, the Atlanta Falcons, or the Saints. And then to see this news come out of nowhere, that Deshaun Watson has been traded to the Cleveland Browns for 2022, 23, 24 first round picks, a 2024 swap with a 2020, uh, tw uh, 2024 fifth round pick. So the Browns are getting a fourth, uh, they're getting a fifth round pick for, for Texans fourth. Or I think they're trading. Uh, they're swapping picks. It's it's that that trade really doesn't matter. What we just really need to talk about is what does this mean for the future of Baker Mayfield? Well, now that Baker Mayfield has officially requested his trade, and now that the Cleveland Browns have finally got their hopefully star quarterback. I mean, Deshaun Watson is a star, but. Cleveland doesn't have a good history of quarterbacks. I mean, Baker Mayfield was the number one overall pick in, what, 2017? And five years later, he's going to be traded. That That's just blowing my mind. I mean, he's not the only number one draft pick to get quarterback, the number one quarterback to get traded. Look at Jared Goff. Jared Goff got traded last year, and Matthew Safford, their replacement firm, ended up winning the Super Bowl. So maybe Browns fans are thinking, hey, look at what happened to Jared Goff. We traded, they traded him. And they end up going to the Super Bowl. So maybe we trade Baker Mayfield. They can go to the Super Bowl. But I highly doubt this can happen. Considering what is going on in that AFC West. And how loaded that, that division is. If you end up winning that division. If you end up playing. If, if the Browns end up playing someone from that division. They're going out first round. I don't care what it is. That division is loaded. But Deshaun Watson receives a five year Fully guaranteed $230 million. Guaranteed. So even if he were to get injured this year, he would still receive $233 million with a $45 million sign-on bonus. His base salary for this year's season is going to be $1 million. And yet he gets $230 million dollars fully guaranteed for the next five seasons so i guess when it comes to that that puts cleveland's super bowl window within the space of five years but then you also got to look at their opponents you got the pittsburgh steelers signed mitchell trubisky kind of debatable on that then you got the baltimore ravens lamar jackson needs to stay healthy if he can stay healthy Baltimore is going to be a very good factor out there. And then you got the team, the other team in Ohio. We got Cincinnati. The Super Bowl team that lost to the Rams. With star quarterback Joe Burrow and star wide receiver Jamar Chase still together. So looking at that, I would probably say in terms of talent wise... Cleveland still has the third best quarterback in the in the AFC North in terms of talent wise because I think Lamar Jackson's more talented than Deshaun Watson and I think Joe Burrow's definitely way more talented than Deshaun Watson. I mean Joe Burrow in his first three seasons took the Cincinnati Bengals to the Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson has been in the NFL since what 2014 2015 and he never took the Texans to the Super Bowl so. In terms of talent-wise, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, Mitchell Trubisky, just because Big Ben has fully retired from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So if anything, the, the, the Browns will probably at least, I can't even say they'll finish third because we know with Mike Tomlin, the way Mike Tomlin coaches that Pittsburgh can end up shocking everyone and can go for a winning record and finish second in the division. So it's actually going to be unbelievable. It's going to be it's going to be untell untellable to see whether the Browns can actually win the division or not because this division is still also going to be competitive. And considering now that he has a number one wide receiver and he still has a good running game, but he's, he's still got Kareem Hunt there. He still got uh, Nick Chubb there. 
So they're going to have a very good running game for Deshaun Watson. The offensive line is pretty good. It's going to be better than the Houston Texans offensive line. So that's also going to be good. And now he has a star number one wide receiver there with them trading for Amari Cooper from the Dallas Cowboys. So they're still going to be in a good shape. I just don't know if Cleveland, even with Deshaun Watson, is going to be able to win the AFC North. But it's a good deal for Cleveland, good deal for Deshaun Watson. I'm happy to see Deshaun Watson go to a very decent team that's, has that, that's got a very good shot at making the playoffs next year. I wouldn't say Super Bowl, but has a very good shot at making the playoffs. But let's talk about the team. Let, let me go on to the team real quick. Atlanta Falcons, what are you thinking? Like, did you think that this is going to end up being good for you? I'm honestly being serious. I'm wearing a Matt Ryan jersey because I support Matt Ryan. I support the Atlanta Falcons, but I support our quarterback. I believe in our quarterback, but clearly the Falcons don't. And now apparently the Falcons are going to try whatever they can to please Matt Ryan. And I just want to say this. If you didn't want to put the quarterback in the greatest position out there, don't go for the trade. Don't go for the trade for Deshaun Watson because the minute you go for the Deshaun Watson trade, you put the fit, you put the ball in Matt Ryan's court if it doesn't work out. And apparently, the only thing that stopped the Falcons from trading for Deshaun Watson is the money details. But what also does this mean? Would we have gotten the amount of results that we got that we would have traded for Deshaun Watson that we would got back out of Matt Ryan? Probably not because Matt Ryan's older than Deshaun Watson. Matt Ryan's more experienced than Deshaun Watson. Matt Ryan's been to a Super Bowl, no matter whether he, if he lost or not. He's been to a Super Bowl, so he has more experience than Deshaun Watson. It's just age that's on this downside and the fact that he doesn't really, he's not a mobile quarterback. Those are the only two things that are different, that, are, that Deshaun Watson is better than Matt Ryan in, in this instance. Because in terms of the way, he, the way he's been in the NFL... Matt Ryan is right now better than Sean Watson in terms of actual like passing yards and touchdowns. It's just the young age of Deshaun Watson and the movability of Deshaun Watson that's better than Matt Ryan. But still, I believe in Matt Ryan. I think the Falcons will end up keeping Matt Ryan and at the quarterback position. But if you guys really didn't want to put the ball in Matt Ryan's position, don't go for the trade. I saw the moment that I saw the Falcons were interested in this trade that we weren't going to get Deshaun Watson. And I'm very happy that we didn't because the Falcons need to rebuild. And in order to do a rebuild, you can't sign, you can't trade away your draft picks. We have a number all, we have a number eight overall draft pick that we can use to trade down and get some more players and rebuild this team. And we could all trade that way just for a quarterback. Yes, I know Deshaun Watson, but we're not in the win now mode. I mean, technically we are, but the Falcons don't really know what they are. So I'm not really going to go into that, but... In terms of this dude, in terms of this news, Browns now have the third best quarterback in terms of talent. Deshaun Watson finally goes to a stable team that's, that has a very good, decent amount of uh, weapons, has a good running game, and has a good offensive line. And this is a big contract because now Deshaun Watson is the number one highest paid quarterback overall in the NFL.